between Justin the Diamond Porian and Charles Oliveira. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. All right, so here is Dustin Poirier making the walk for yet another big UFC spot here tonight. UFC 236 was his coming out party, DC. He ended Max Holloway's 13-fight winning streak, and in a near-perfect performance in a lot of respects, he was able to realize a UFC in on record. They say diamonds are forever, and so is Dustin Poirier. It seems like he's been here the whole time. We've seen this young man grow up in the UFC. We saw him at 145 pounds have a ton of success, but we've truly seen him come into his own as he's going up to lightweight. He's become a UFC interim champion, and he's beaten guys like Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, and Max Holloway. One of the best fighters at 155 is Dustin Poirier. And with Dustin Poirier and Daniel Cormier, safe to say that Lafayette, Louisiana has made a pretty good UFC footprint over the last few I years. I love it. Dustin Poirier back on the proving ground here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Gobrox. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready All right, so here is Dustin Poirier as round one gets underway. He said in advance of this one, this is not a street fight. I've got to stay unemotional and not just try to hurt him. I've got to be defensively responsible. Easier said than done for a fighter as gifted offensively as Dustin Poirier. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Elbow deep takes him for a ride. What a high impact takedown that was. Oh, nice. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, man. Oh, straight right! So 
just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Pool. Right punches oh, there. And the ankle pick to get him down to see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Trying to set up a submission now. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Under a minute now to go. All right, side control now. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Second round underway. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Blocks the shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. All right, so it's going to be a perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. He's able to get him down. Persistence. Hayes, and that's what we saw. Now he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Bottom fighter trying to control. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Oliveira. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. He passed the half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice elbow to the body there by Oliveira. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, right in the mount. Sound strike on the ground. Setting up a sub here. Strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Charles Dubronx Oliveira. All right, so... Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Gets up again here, but hurt. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the clinch in DC. This has certainly been a big trademark of your success, just finding a home for those. Whoa! What a fan! Oh! A lot of top pressure being applied here. He got his bag! All right, 
side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Forget the turtle in that kick. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful left hand shape. Make him think he's going low and he's right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great one. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. See all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 33 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by TKO, Westman!